Good day, RGV. Today on Valley Por Vida, we're talking all about ways that you can hydrate and get vitamins in your body straight through your veins. We'll also be giving you the latest movie, reels, ratings, and reviews. Plus, we've got a special guest, financial advisor to the top Hollywood celebrities and athletes, and he's got some tips for you and me to keep in mind. All that and so much more. The show starts right now. Hi there, and thanks again for joining us this morning. I'm your host, Danielle Bonda. And before we kick off the show, our team would like to give a huge shout out to the Edinburgh North High School Cougar Marching Band because they're state bound in UIL band championships, and this is such an amazing success. They were in San Antonio at the Alamo Dome this past Monday and completed against 39 other bands from around the state. Now, regardless of what place they get, we are so proud that they, they're positively representing the RGV community, and of course, we wish them the best of luck. We'd also like to congratulate one Rio Grande Valley resident who, during the pandemic, came up with her very own company to help people get healthier and even fight off the virus. She's a strong businesswoman who is educated in the field of medicine, and she's got a question for you. Have you ever heard of mobile IVs? Well, we're talking about a mobile IV service with uh, specially trained nurses who go to you, wherever you are, for your easy access to hydration and vitamins directly in your body. But what are the benefits? Well, not only can it improve your mental clarity and fight off symptoms of depression, but it can help treat certain deficiencies in your body and even help strengthen your immune system. Now, it can be kind of hard to understand how all of this works, so we've got Victoria Turner, owner of of, of Drip Fusion Mobile IV in the studio today to break it all down for us. So, hi Victoria. Oh my goodness. Okay, you've got to tell us a little bit about what Drip Fusion is and why it's so unique of a concept. I mean, especially for those who maybe have never heard about it. Right. So, thank you so much for having me. And what makes us unique here in the Valley is that we go straight to you. Your convenience is really our priority. And so, if you are at home, or the office, we simply go to you. Our nurses are super friendly. We do speak Spanish and we are here for you. You all have access to me 24 seven. We also have a drip hotline where you can text and call us at any time. Wow, I absolutely love this. It's so unique. Uh, and of course, there's actually one treatment plan, which may be a good idea for maybe when we've had, uh, or when, when we're gonna be recovering from maybe having a little bit too much to drink, right? Uh, so maybe you can mm -hmm. go ahead and tell me a little bit about that because I hear it's one of your more popular uh, you know, treatment plans too. So what is that all about? Yeah, so that is one of our popular IV drips. It's called the hangover drip or our recharge drip. And so some of us um, drink a little too much sometimes and we feel a little bit fatigued the day after. So that is symptoms of dehydration. And so what we do is offer hydration and different types of vitamins to help you kind of regain that energy back. And if you also have a headache or nausea, we also have medications for that as well. Oh my goodness. And you know, this year and last year was a little bit different with everything going on with the pandemic. It's, it's definitely been something for us to adjust to. Um, but you found a way to conquer through um, and so many people across the valley are even, you know, looking to you to help fight off the virus. So how exactly does that work um, and, and how can Drip Fusion help with that? So the way I founded my business was because I had COVID last year and I was at home and I wanted someone to come to my house and I didn't find anybody. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to be that person. And so um, we offer vitamins that are beneficial for the immune system. And so when we fight viruses and other sicknesses, we um, get into this state of inflammation. And so that's why people start coughing. That's why they're fatigued. They have fever because your body's trying to fight for you. And so the main thing is to always try to boost your immunity by what you eat and taking your vitamins on a daily basis and also implementing our vitamin boosts um, on a monthly basis as well. Yeah, absolutely. Oh my goodness, you're covering every single base. I really mm -hmm. love that. And there are so many other benefits, like you mentioned, to using IVs for hydration and vitamins in the body. Too many to talk about here just in one show. Uh, so be sure to, feel, uh, to follow them rather on Facebook for details on the process. And of course, you can also email her team for personalized information, plus so 
much more. See, mobile IVs are the most popular direct IV treatments since the pandemic began, so be sure to stay with us for the latest on that and on the latest for must-see movies that you've got to add to your watch list. You know what time it is? Let's go ahead and check out what's new on today's Reels, Ratings, and Reviews segment. No. All right, well now I don't want to give too much away because we've got next stars Dean Richards standing by with all of the info, but a sneak peek at what you should add to the binge list this weekend. Well, if you're a fan of the ever so beautiful Carrie Russell, then you'll absolutely love her latest film about a student whose artistic creativity may be a bit spookier than others may realize. You'll also want to add Last Night in Soho to the list if you're in the mood for an edge of the sea draw jaw dropping mystery, plus talented filmmaker Wes Anderson does it again. This time his vision comes to life in a movie called The French Dispatch and it's definitely a must see if you've ever studied film in any form or fashion like those of us on our Valuable to Be That team. The cinematography is absolutely incredible and the storyline a plus. So sit back, relax and check it out. Hey, don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. It's not usually a bad combination when you combine the forces of Oscar winner Guillermo del Toro as producer with an adapted screenplay by horror master Stephen King. That's why I was a little disappointed in the macabre story of Antlers about a small town teacher, her brother of the sheriff, and a student whose dark secrets come to life through his elaborate and disturbing drawings, one that leads to a hunt through the Oregon wilderness in search of a mysterious creature. Carrie Russell and Jesse Plemons are great in this tale that definitely is dark and disturbing, both in feel and in its look, but one that felt that it's been done several times over. It's tough to be completely original in the horror genre. This one winds up being just okay. It's a Dean's List C. This is the closest most people ever get to their dreams. Also for the Halloween weekend, there's the clever and original Last Night in Soho. In it, an aspiring design student in a prestigious London school rents a room from a creepy older lady but finds herself getting trapped inside the body of a 1960s singer looking for her big break. That's when things begin to turn dark and twisted, mixing nostalgia with a full-on psychological thriller thanks to the genius of director Edgar Wright of Shaun of the Dead and Baby Driver fame. It's Hitchcock meets Kitsch at a Dean's List B in theaters. Berenson's article, The Concrete Masterpiece. Three dangling participles, two split infinitives, and nine spelling errors in the first sentence alone. Some of those are intentional. And I haven't really checked lately, but I'm pretty sure that if I looked up the word quirky in the dictionary, there'd be a big old grinning picture of director Wes Anderson. His films have an eclectic, detailed, ironic, often silly splash to them, usually with something to think about afterwards. And his latest, The French Dispatch, checks off all those boxes that I love and expect from him. In this love letter to the written word and old school journalism, an all-star cast play a staff of writers of an English word magazine in France, each working on their final story for the publication. There is superb scripting here and attention to the finest detail and a sense of humor that's a little like an acquired taste of an unusual food. At first, you're not sure if you like it, but before you know it, you can't get enough of this Dean's List B+. sure to stick up with us for more flakes to watch this weekend as we'll keep bringing you the latest. That last film by Wes Anderson really looks good, especially if you're into the behind the scenes aspects of movies. And that actually brings us to our next segment for today. Are you ready for some trivia time? All right, well on your screen right now is 
are five films, but only one of them does not belong. They're all great productions, however, only four belong to the legendary filmmaker Wes Anderson. Can you tell which one is the oddball out? I'm going to let you ponder on it just a bit more while we take a quick commercial break slash weather break, <laughs> but don't go anywhere because Valley Puerto Vida will be back and we'll have your trivia time answer coming up.